Mr. Ambassador, I, I'm curious, the Civil Rights Act, was there any indication, any thought in 1964 that the impact would go far beyond race, that it would go to uh, gender or sexual orientation or any of the other applications we've seen in recent years? I think uh, we, first of all, uh, knew that it would apply to women. Uh, in fact, the women's amendment was attached to the Civil Rights Act, thinking that it was going to kill, help kill it and it only added on to it. I, I think that all of these issues were, um, I um, got picketed by uh, a group of disabled people uh, and I, I immediately agreed with them that the, that the Disabilities Act would not have happened if it had not been for the Civil Rights Act. And we had 10% of the population that's black, but at least 15% of the population is, is disabled in some way or other. So that, that every minority and every person with a, a grievance felt like they had access to a system that would listen to them. How effective has the act been in the last 50 years in abridging some of those? Oh, I think it's been extremely effective. I think if you look at Atlanta, um, where we made most of these things work, um, we were a million people in 19... We were less than a million in 1965. We're six and a half million now. And that's been, that's a growth of black and white alike. Because we have made, uh, well, we, we, we built the airport, but we wouldn't build it unless 35% of every contract was done by a minority, a female owned company. Uh, we'd had the Olympics and we did the same thing. And so we have, we have integrated the wealth as we have uh, expanded and grown the city. Between recent rulings on voting rights acts and, and new voting rights laws, uh, uh, bridging some voting rights, affirmative action rulings, do you feel like the momentum from the 64 Civil Rights Act is beginning to erode? Well, it should. You know, it's time for a new, it's time, I mean, the, the issue is not simply political. Dr. King said that he wanted to redeem the soul of America from the triple evils of racism, war, and poverty. Civil Rights Act of 64 was about racism, essentially. But um, it, it, it didn't do a lot for poverty until Lyndon Johnson, after Dr. King's death, expanded it to include uh, uh, aid to the uh, disadvantaged, the, the whole the whole Great Society legislation. But uh, we just started on, uh, on dealing with poverty. And it's a global, you can't deal with it locally anymore. Uh, it, it, the global impact, to, there's global impact to almost everything we do economically. And, and finally, where are we today compared to where you thought we'd be five decades ago? Oh, well, gosh, I never thought any of the things that happened in my life would have happened. I figured I'd still be marching by now. And uh, I mean, I, I was really shocked. And uh, I said, if, if Dr. King, if I had said to Dr. King on the road from Selma to Montgomery, you know, I want to be the mayor of Atlanta one day and a congressman, and maybe even ambassador to the United Nations, he'd have said, boy, you've been in the sun too long. <laughs> it ain't going to be that easy. Thanks, Mr. Ambassador. Thank you. Thanks.